Hey guys, and welcome back to another train simulator video. Good morning, driver. Welcome aboard the Virgin Class 390 Pendolino. You'll be operating an early morning high speed passenger service from Manchester Piccadilly to London Euston, starting from Stafford and going as far as Rugby, making one stop at Nuneaton along the way. Please allow passengers to board here before departing. Okay then. Driver village. Uh, Vigilance device is now active and alarms can now be audible in external views, which is nice. But yeah, guys, um, Dumpsville Games have made an updated version of the Class 390, which looks pretty much the same, but they have included the Virgin Trains livery. Could have the rights to do that now. Um, and obviously, we can hear audible um, alarms on exterior, exterior view as well, which is nice. Got a bunch of obviously lights for the train. Another class 390 coming into Stafford. But let's put the correct lights on. Not when you go to the hazard lights, it will uh, flash as you can see. But we're gonna go to day running because obviously it's daytime. Let's point it forward. I think a few more alarms will. Uh, yep. Yeah. One of them must be for the... What do you call it? The vigilance um, device, I believe. I'm not too sure what the other one is for. But anyways. Currently at Stafford and yeah, just waiting for our departure. And we're going to be stopping only at one stop, which is... Actually, Nuneaton is the stop between us at Rugby Station and the train will continue towards London Euston. It would be really cool to drive to London Euston but unfortunately no news about them making the uh, West Coast Mainline yet so yeah we'll see maybe in the future you know because they have the right to use Virgin trains now so who knows we might see it in the future very soon that would be just amazing you know so this add-on is uh, £14.99 and if you do own the Class 390, the previous version, then you will get a 30% discount. So it works out as £10.49, so it's not too bad. <coughs> oh, let's get going. No time to lose. Got 36 miles from Nuneaton to go. I'm guessing they have updated the sounds of the train or something like that, so... For me, I don't really notice much difference, but anyways... I'm really glad they've done this because... This is my favourite train ever, and... I love this delivery on the train as well, so I'm really happy about this. Now this, uh... DLC did come out on a Tuesday, which I didn't actually realise, so... I'm a bit late to the scene of doing a video on it, but... I do plan on doing all four Karuma scenarios that are included in this um, with this route. I mean, not this route, this train. And obviously, there are going to be Steam Workshop uh, routes that people will make, which are going to be really fun to drive. Now, all the Karuma scenarios are on the West Coast Mainland Trail Rally route, so you will have to own that route to play the Karuma scenarios. But obviously, you can just wait for people to make. Steam Workshop scenarios for other routes like the West Coast Mainline Overshap and West Coast Mainline North. It does come in 9 and 11 car variants. I believe we are driving an 11 car train today. Yes, we are. Now we've got a green signal, we should be good. It should be a pretty much a straightforward run. Let's 
I'm not sure. Get up to 90 miles an hour. Then the speed limit is going up to 100 miles an hour. But yeah, this is the cab. Uh, pretty nice cab. Obviously, the graphics of it is a lot better, I'm guessing. I am pretty much playing on lo the, the lower part of the graphics, so. And obviously, most of this looks really clear and high definition, so. Obviously, they probably updated that. Class 350 London Midland train. Now we do have um, the wipers, which is here. Now the wipers actually work. Actually, they do. <laughs> I thought they were not working. And then we can go to slow, which should look like that. And then we got fast. Okay, to turn it. Obviously we don't need wipers so I'm going to turn it off. And there's a speed set so if you just click the speed set now, it will maintain the speed. Well it should maintain the speed. I think because we're going downhill it doesn't maintain the speed bar. I'll try it again once with like straight up tracks so the speed set what okay the speed set was available for the previous 390 but it did have a lot of bugs where sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't but I think I'll wait for until we get to 125 miles now speed limit then I'll change it uh, enable the speed limit There's lights as well, so if you want to enable that when you're in the tunnel so you can actually see what you're doing. But yeah, the speed set is just behind here. It's a bit annoying when this is here, but anyways. We've got the time, we got the how fast we're going. Touch screen doesn't seem to be working unfortunately. Also the horn here. Pretty good. Got a notepad light if you want to enable that. And obviously these are the cab lights. No, we'll turn them off. We don't really need it. There's some more buttons here, but none of these work, unfortunately. They're calling this the pro version of the class 390, but I'm sure they can make it a lot better. I'm sure you guys can find out faults with this train or stuff they haven't done or mistakes, which they always seem to be doing, double games. I wouldn't be surprised if, I don't know, part of the train liveries are wrong. I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't be surprised. Sets door name. I'm not too sure if that works. Rear cars disabled. Okay. Let's do it. Obviously, we've got the exterior exterior uh, lights. If you want to enable light for this, you can. No, I will really enable it. Why not? Speed supervised. I think that's when you click the speed uh, set. It might light up or lights down or something like that. Maybe. can change the cab air conditioning if you want and obviously the temperature obviously this is not real life so it actually makes no difference at all but anyways and let me quickly show you the passenger view which I believe it's uh, I believe there wasn't a, a 390 passenger view with the old class 390 I'm not too sure actually it's been a while since I've driven it, so it might a passenger view, which is pretty basic. We've got the Virgin Trains first class, nice seats, nice table. We've got the 
laptops and uh, phone chargers only sign. Yeah, pretty nice. What do you expect for first class anyway? I think that's Rugley Station, I believe. Okay, we did say we're going via um, Rugley up fast. It's so good to hear that uh, external sound, even though you're not in the cab. if it maintains the speed, but I didn't click the speed sets, so it should work. So as long as I don't do anything, then it will maintain 123 miles an hour, which is pretty good. Obviously, if I do throttle down or throttle up, then obviously, actually it's not working. Uh, let me try again. Way to 124 miles an hour, then go too much. I believe, um, I'm just waiting here for it to go to 124 miles an hour, then for the speed set. Okay, there we go. It did light up there, so it must be working out. Obviously this one is not like lit up because obviously you can't use the snow brick unfortunately but if you could then if you click it then it will light up once enabled but it should maintain 124 miles an hour. If not then well speed set in this train doesn't work either. And yeah essentially we can just go outside the train and just watch this nice scenery. Obviously we can hear the alarm noise outside now so we don't have to worry about that and obviously the speed is already controlled and set so yeah we're pretty much good you know just have to keep an eye if the speed limit does change down to 110 or 100 miles an hour Virgin trains I should say here uh, yeah destination London Houston it doesn't say the next stop, unfortunately, which is a bit disappointing, but anyways. So there's a new livery for the Class 390, if you haven't seen it in real life. It's basically pretty much all white and a little bit of thing red at the, uh, at the uh, front of it. With a logo, etc. So, yeah. It does definitely looks a lot different to this one. I, pr I definitely prefer this livery, but... Obviously, this one's gonna be, I guess, discontinued very soon. And be updated to the newer one. I would be, uh, it would be cool if somebody made the new livery, so I could actually drive in the game, that would be pretty cool. But I don't think anyone's done that yet, so yeah. If there is one out there, then let me know, or give me a link. Or make me a snotty with it, that would be pretty cool. So obviously we've got the class 221 in the, um, what do you call it, North Wales Coastal and now we've got the class 390 updated with the Virgin Trains livery so yeah there's like no excuse for them not to make the London to, London, uh, Houston to uh, Birmingham route or something like that and obviously we've got the class 350 London Midland train as well and we literally got all the trains here, literally and the 378 which goes on the Watford DC line we don't have the other underground, but I guess you could use the Isle of White, um, what do you call it, um, London Underground stop train. miles away from uh, Non-Eaton and still uh, 32 miles away from Rugby Station so yeah we are doing a Manchester Piccadilly to London Euston service I'm guessing after uh, Rugby Station it goes straight towards uh, London Euston not stopping at any stops I'm guessing okay it might stop at Milton Keynes Central I believe and then maybe uh, all the way to our uh, non-stop to London Houston, I believe. I 
really doesn't seem to be working either, which is uh, a bit disappointing. I'm sure if just, just Trains were making an updated version of this, then they would have made the radio unable to work, which would have been really cool. And you can change the pantograph selection switch, but I think I shouldn't do that, just in case I'm after the train. The windscreen, the mist, and washer jet doesn't work, unfortunately. Uh, Sander does work. Tilt's not available, button doesn't work. Speed reduction doesn't work. None of these buttons work apart from a sander. Temporary tilt uh, normal does work. It's currently on isolated. And obviously the alarm acknowledge, which is I believe Q button on the keyboard. We are approaching Tamworth station, which we're gonna obviously fly past. Then I believe it's Polesworth after that, and then um, I'm guessing Atherstone? I did do a video with the class 315 uh, London North Western Railway livery, so... And it, it was a stopping service, so I should know all these stations off my heart, but... So I was looking at the Steam Workshop like um, a few hours ago, and... Somebody recreated one of the scenarios I included with the train and re-uploaded re -uploaded it to the Steam Workshop because there was a bug with the Korean mod version, which is no surprise, you know what the games are like, which made it so that you can't leave the station on time, so you obviously lose points if you like leave late on the station. So yeah. For me, I don't really care about points too much. So like, I probably will still play the current version if you guys want. But if you want me to play the other version, then let me know. I'm just happy that they I don't have to download the reskin skin of the Virgin Trains livery now. Which is a pain in the backside. <laughs> Especially when you do everything right, correctly and it doesn't work. Like, you're like, thinking like, have I done something wrong? And you spend like an hour just trying to f figure it out, you know. Okay, we've got just 10 miles left to Nuneaton station, so... Should soon see a speed limit change. Actually, I think there isn't a speed limit change just before I eat him. Um, it might be down to 100 miles now, then obviously we can slow down accordingly. Welcome to Polesworth, no platform 2 or southbound platform because it doesn't exist anymore. You can only take a train up upwards towards. Um, Stafford and Cruise Station. I think somebody could make a Class 390 a video on the North Wales Coastal Road with this train. Because I do believe some 390s go towards Crew or that part of the route, maybe. I'm not too sure actually. To be fair, it doesn't really matter too much if it's a 2C1 or Class 390. They're both in the same livery and, I'll, and they're both amazing trains, I'll, I'll definitely drive it. Okay, we do have 100 miles now, so let's get off the throttle. Oh, no, let's put some brake in. I haven't tried the brakes on the train yet, so...
believe if you do want to use the speed set again, you will have to. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, I think it automatically turns off when you are in the front stop once it's set, so. I'm gonna have to re enable it or anything. I believe it will let us go up to 110 miles an hour, but obviously going from 110 to like zero in like, I don't know, half a mile is probably not the best idea. Now we are early, so that's good. Once I get to two miles, I'll start slowing down because I think it's best to go around maybe like 40 50 miles an hour coming to the platform. Going to be slightly slower than that. Eaton, change here for cross country services towards Birmingham and London Northwestern Railway services. I was gonna say London Midland, but obviously, they're no more anymore, unfortunately. Slow the train down, we should be good. more than, than long enough of a platform for us so that's not too bad brakes are not too bad either which is nice there you go you probably could fit like a 14 car train on this platform to be fair open the doors
So we got two in here waits at non eaten. So basically these two platforms are for the cross country services which go up and above uh, the west coast main line. Which is pretty cool. I'm guessing the middle two pla uh, tracks are for the class 390s and 221s and these two and the other two are for the London Midland, uh, London North Western Railway services, I believe. Got another class 390 coming out of the way. Very nice, very nice. I believe it does depart ahead of us. I'm guessing. <laughs> nice screenshot, got a nice Virgin Trains logo at the front. Got a little bit of grey, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, and a little bit of white. Passing ahead of us, it's fine. Got maximum points to see, which is good. And let's get going. Next up, rugby, which is just under 15 miles. Just under 10 minutes to reach rugby, and we got just uh, just under 14 miles, so should be pretty much on time as well. As long as there's no delays, which there shouldn't be, hopefully. It's quite an early morning service, so there's not much AI, unfortunately, in the scenario. I've only seen a few uh, class 350s and a few 22s, 390s. I'm a bit surprised they didn't add any 221s or 220s. Speed 140 miles an hour. Class 
that. And again, okay, then let's go back to the cab. This train shouldn't be that long, but obviously those now are going to have a lot of delays and maybe um, we'll be following another train as well. Because if we went from uh, Lally, uh, not Lally, Lally to Stafford to uh, Rugby or Rugby to Stafford, it only takes like 35 minutes non-stop to go from the, these two stations. Maybe like 40 minutes if you stop at Lanyton. So not too long. And obviously this train is not a stopping service, so... It'd be kind of funny to drive this train at every stop and stop in all the stations. To be fair, that would be kind of cool actually. Especially on some of the smaller platforms like, I don't know, uh, Poles off where you can't even fit even like maybe a 6 car train. I've been trying to fit an 11 car Pendolino train, that would be kind of hilarious actually. Okay, 4 miles left. Arrive 6.31, depart 6.33, bad. Three miles left, and I think 124 miles an hour, which is pretty fast. You know what? That's not slowing down now. Because uh, at the moment, it would be like more than a minute early, so that's more than good enough for me. Gonna be too early though. I think that line goes towards Birmingham, I believe. The tracks above, I think. Got double yellow signal, but that's okay. I think the main reason is saying double yellow because of literally like 
two minutes early. We are now approaching Rugby, changing for London Northwestern Railway Services and I guess my door. Virgin train services towards, I guess, Glasgow Central. We'll do a pull Lime Street. I did break a bit early, but we are really early, so don't really want to wait at rugby too long, so. Just coast into the station. There we go. Great. Open the doors with 40 seconds early. Very nice. And yeah, this train will continue towards uh, London Euston. Is that our train? Northampton? No, that's not ours. This is a uh, London Northwestern Railway calling at Northampton, Milton Keynes Central, and Watford Junction. And it is on time, it seems. What we call if we should actually show the time that it's going to come, like in game time. But anyways. These two are first class. And there we go, a thousand points out of a thousand, very nice. Great service driver, scenario completed, thank you very much. Perfect. But yeah guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, share with friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.